Hey up everybody, it's snowing, but I need to cruise today because I need to get some water, empty my toilet, and it's the last cruise now before Christmas. Cup pudding, he absolutely loves the snow. He eats it, he eats it non-stop, loves it. Like a little kid, and he's got his little boots on. You have to put these boots on his back legs because he drags his back legs, he cuts the top of his paws. So he has his little boots on. How excited is he? And I'm off. Look at these ropes covered in snow. Gotta watch it because it's quite slippy. So be careful this time of year, guys. So I'm on the move. It's been snowing and it's really cold and the canal has been iced up but just a light ice and uh, the thing is though it's going to freeze even worse and I need to get water if I know I'm going to be stuck for a few days I need to make sure my water tanks are full the only downside of this is I've got to go now and cruise through a tunnel just to turn to go all the way back to Anderton to get water because that's the nearest water point and I also want to get closer to my mum and dad's ready for Christmas day. Yes. Wow, look at this bridge. How many bashings has that had? See, I just go straight in, slipping right through. Yeah, but some people have bashed them sides. Just checking no one's coming. The thing is with this tunnel is it has a big kink in it where the two ends, the two sets of workers back in the olden days started at different ends and uh, they didn't exactly meet in the middle so it has a bit of a kink hey. kinky Woo. so guys it's lovely and warm sat here with a fire oh i'm loving it so let's get the old girl turned round and go back again on top of my solar panels that's from when I rev my engine it just when it hits the bridge or the tunnel it throws it all on the top so guys if you are enjoying the videos please subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free to do and if you press the bell button you'll get a notification every time I release a new one so uh, yeah please do and I love reading all the comments thank you so much for the comments I love reading where you're all from um, all over the world <laughs> it's amazing my little boat channel but thank you so much guys i'm so humbled by everything ready to be honest and we're going back past the landslide again it's been 12 months and the store not fixed it but woo it's an adrenaline rush going past this i don't know where i'm going to moor up tonight um, but i'm not really that bothered as long as we've got water um, it can freeze and it can do whatever it wants i don't care but the boat inside is so toasty warm. I have had a lot of messages, people concerned about the cold, but outside, yes, it's absolutely freezing. But inside the boat, it's 
I can't describe it. I'm going to buy one of those thermometer things and put one in the boatman's cabin and in the main boat. And uh, I'll take pictures of the temperatures because sometimes it gets so hot in there. Um, I have to have my side hatches open. But this is all well and good if you keep your fire in 24-7. today with my arms my hands my fingers will fall off and my nipples will take someone's eye out <laughs> Just to try and clear your prop you have to slam it into reverse do a few revs and then go back into forward I still feel like I've got some around it though, but now you can do is I'm not, not going in that water today. I think it's going to thaw anyway today. It feels like it's thawing because I'm just getting dripped on by all the trees. But I, I think there's going to be another freeze later on in the week, so that's why I wanted to fill up now and get settled. And we've got some strong winds coming as well, some more strong winds, so. See the ice over there, still frozen. So we're back at the Anderton boat lift now. I'm having to keep going in reverse forwards, reverse forwards to try and clear all these leaves from my prop. Yeah, so it's taking me so long. <laughs> so guys, I do apologise that these, uh, they might get a bit boring, these winter ones. <laughs> because I'm not cruising all the time, I'm just cruising when I need to cruise, because it's not as pleasurable, obviously. And at the moment, Anderton is the only facilities in this area. So um, I'm just mooring like for two weeks that way or 10 days that way and then coming back out and then mooring this way. So we're going to be keep coming back to the services. So yeah, I do apologise. But that's boat life. I'm trying to show it for real how it is. And uh, this is how it is over winter. But we'll be on some adventures again in January. Don't worry. I can just spy Jackie now at the water point, she's here, bless her. Oh, how lovely is that, eh? Hey, I killed Oh, you're joking. Yeah. Can you still use it though? Because people are saying they've. No, no, they've locked it. You're joking us. Yeah, so we've got to Anderton Services now, and the Elson's out of order. Um, so, balls. At least Jack is here and she's got the van so she can always take it down to Northwich um, on the river, use that one. But if you haven't got a van and you haven't got a Jackie, you're buggered. So, uh, yeah, not good. At least I've got my spare cassette still, so it's just one that's full. But I like to always have two, because you never know, you see. So the Elson's out of order, so we can't empty the toilet. But look at this! My mop! Pretty frozen solid. I normally use this for the solar panels, but I've got a stiffy. Look at it, it won't do anything. It won't get rid of any of that spider poo or anything. Ooh. Let's load up the fire in my boatman's cabin whilst we're stopped, because this keeps me lovely and warm whilst I'm stood at the tiller. I've just put some coal on it. And what happens is when you put coal on it, <laughs> it starts to smoke until it settles down and it's smoking and I've got to cruise back. Yeah, it's taken me all day just to turn the boat and uh, go and use the facilities and I only got water because the toilet Elson thing wasn't working. So uh, don't load up your stove whilst you're at the water point if you've got to cruise. Not a good idea at all. At least some warm. So that's it, I'm all moored up and I'm just round the corner from my mum and dad's for Christmas day. 
Woo! So I'm staying here now until then. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm at Mum and Dad's house. We're just waiting for all the kids to get in, the nieces and nephews. But I just thought I'd play you a few little songs to get you in that Christmas spirit. <laughs> Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mum. Merry Christmas, Hyde. My favourite films are. No, not one. Merry Christmas to one and all. <laughs> Mum's watching Scrooge. Jingle your bells, Mum. <laughs> tried to hide this from the kids because we were in a panic and my mum set fire to her arm and it was dead funny but uh, I didn't get it on camera but it was something like this when she was reaching for the sprouts it was absolutely hilarious but anyway that's it this week's guys so I've just left to say a massive thank you to this week's pirate crew George Hall, Kirsty and Chris, Colorado Jane, Sean BC, Simon Clayton, Jay's Channel, Stephen Brody, Marcy and Nelson, Holly and Steve, Alan Harbit, Ralph Wood, David Van Wart, Donna, Florida Ron, Catherine Stuff, Wendy Mark, and someone. You didn't leave your name, so I've just put someone. If you've not called you out, let me know and I'll shout you out next week. But thank you so much, guys. I love you all and I'll speak to you next time.